Hello, I'm Russ Handler and another look at Hanukkah. Boy, one of my favorite times of the year. And when you're lighting the menorah, there's a couple ceremonial ways in which you need to do it. So study this article next to us very closely. I'll give you a little overview. A couple things you'll need. First, your menorah does not have to be anything big or huge. Some Hanukkah candles and a safe lighter or some stick candles. You may also have a more traditional oil burning menorah as well. It's pretty simple. We have something called the shamash, which is the main candle. Let's pretend it's the first night of Hanukkah. We've already said our first prayer, so it's time now to light the shamash. Now, while that is illuminated, we're gonna allow one of the children perhaps, or um, a couple of the children together to light the first candle while the shamash is burning. Now, as we do so, we do recite the prayer as listed on the side of this article. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who performed miracles for our ancestors at this season in days past. After we've done that, we're gonna set our main candle, also known as the shamash, here in the shamash holder, which is generally in the center. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit back, we're gonna dim the lights, we're gonna enjoy some Hanukkah gifts, and we're gonna watch this beautiful menorah burn down to the end. Now, repeat this step for the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth nights of Hanukkah. And you have a blessed and happy Hanukkah. I'm Russ Handler, and I look forward to seeing you in temple.